All right, kids, are you ready to figure out this riddle with me? Let's get to it. I actually wasn't anticipating to record today, but I got a chance to, so here I am anyway. So, I'm trying to figure this thing out still. How do you reach that? Can I hit whack it with my thing, I wonder? I have to step on it, don't I? I'm trying to figure out the best angle to even get to this thing. Half the time I keep failing, and you're going to watch me do this. Whether it takes all this part or not, I don't know. Oh my god, it's so hard to angle myself. Even using a shadow, it's like, I have to be prepared. Can I even jump up there? I'm trying to think. How would I even jump up there? I think I'm way too high up for it, personally. You can't do that. There has to be a different way to do this. There has to be. That doesn't even look like it'd be good enough, truthfully. Pretend I can even get up there, which I don't think I can. The only way I can see is literally up through that portion here. I mean, it'd be great if I could throw it up, but that doesn't work at all. It really doesn't work. If I was to throw it up here, man, I would get it lost for sure. I'm just hoping there's something I can do. This has to be the right way to do it. Look, I can jump from this one up to here. It, it doesn't look like I would be able to. And yet I can. So in theory, granted, it's still hard to make that jump. No. Mmm, too far. It's so hard to judge this thing. With the barrel itself, I don't think it would be possible, truthfully. Oops, I missed. I'm trying to think, what is the good angle here? And even if, let's say I was to look up how to solve this thing, it's still based on my jumping skills, isn't it? I have to somehow make a diagonal jump and yet be high enough to get up there. It's hard to do. It really is. It doesn't make any sense. The fact that I'm working with a D-pad doesn't help either. I can't get that one. I'm, I've tried already. You can't. It's too far. It's. Look at this distance, though. This is the closest distance you can get with between these two. Look, let's see. We've got one square. What? We got about three tiles. I'm going to estimate if I'm looking at this properly. Three tiles distance here. Which one has this? This has one, two, three tiles as well. If I'm looking at, if I think these are the tiles, I think I could see the outlines of them. While here we're looking at only a one distance tile. One tile and one tile difference. So that's why I can make these jumps, because we're only looking at one tile. Now if I'm trying to stretch a few tiles, I think that's where the issue comes in. This is the last puzzle of this place before I can get to the last uh, statue, from what I can tell. The reason why I can make it that far is because I'm jumping from a higher distance, but when I have to jump high up, and I keep hitting the sand by accident. Ah, Come on. I wasn't even given any hints about this in the last, when I uploaded the last part. It's like... Now, okay. There is one more possibility I just thought of, but that would still require some timing that I don't know if I can do. Bomb? Damn it. Well, maybe actually, hold on. Hold on. Let me try this out then. Does the bomb count? Oh boy. Oh boy. Now that's an issue. If I don't, uh... 
This might be the only way to do it then. I have to throw something on top of it, I think. Man, you can't throw that bomb that far either. No, you can't actually. If you jump, you can't. You actually can't throw the bomb that far. Okay, so that won't work either. The bomb will never get there. If I could throw something more diagonal, it'd be great. If I could throw it diagonally from this one here, that would be great, but... As it stands now... It just... Doesn't work. I'm willing to spend up to 10 minutes figuring this out. It's a puzzle of this place. See, I can't even get the bomb that far. Mm, it barely goes that far. And when you jump... Okay, when you jump, it does. But the problem is, can I do it? Damn. No. I don't even know where it ended up. If I can just go slightly more down, but I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can jump there. Okay, I can make that distance. Ugh, I don't think the bomb works. I've never actually tested that out. No, it doesn't work. You know how I know that? Because you would then you'd be able to cheat technically. So that actually doesn't work. You have to jump on it. There's no other way to do it. You have to jump on it. I'm willing to spend up to 10 minutes doing this. What? It's already been 7 minutes? I can't believe that. Really? It's already been seven minutes I've been doing this recording? No. Well, technically six minutes, because I had about an extra minute pre-recording. Man. This is the one thing I might actually look up how to do, because I'm just trying. The... You can't jump that! Look at all my surroundings here. I'm given only one... In like, the sand is such a hindrance in here, and I know it's supposed to be. I mean, the bomb can't help, obviously. Going underneath here, I can't think of this anything extra I'd find somehow. I am going to be so ready to look this up. I didn't even get a chance to... Tr I didn't even know I was going to be able to record today, so I didn't get a chance to just, you know, practice it. So I kill those bees, I get this thing. And then what happens? I don't know what to do with it. Except it, it opens up a path, and then I can't use it. You have all these things here. It's way too high up, it looks. You'd think you'd be able to make it. But it's because of the spacing. Look, there's about one, two, three, four tiles from that way. One, two, three tiles from that one. The only reason I can make this jump is because of how high it is. In fact, the barrel looks to be roughly the same. No, it's not the same height. It's actually slightly below by one tile I'd say. Well not tile in that instance but by one object it's actually smaller. One, two, three, four ridges. One, two, three, four ridges. So it's the same height as the one up there. One, two, three, four, five, six ridges. Going from four to six ridges? I mean you go from two to four. I'm counting like the uh, I'm, I look at the object there's like sort of a gap in between each one. I'm counting what I consider to... Okay, let's count the gray. You know, it's kind of like a really dark gray. Let's count the light gray ones. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then on that one where it's standing on. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah. In theory, you should be able to jump up from here to up there. Actually, no. You know why? Because the switch makes it higher by at least two more. So now I'm trying to jump from 4 to 8, almost double the height. That means you actually can't jump up there. You have to be able to throw this thing, I think. But I can't, I don't know how to get up here. Actually, no, that still wouldn't work because I still have to be able to throw it. So yeah, you just can't make that jump here. Doing this, you can only jump up to 2.
And the problem with this one is the distance. Oh, I made it for once. Okay. Now what? That's a very hard jump to- I made that by chance only. Because I've tried to do this one before, it's... Even using the shadow, it's like... Because I can't... I made it by chance that one... There we go, now I did it. Oh! And then I broke it! Great. Now I have to reset it. I obviously need it. I broke it. Dude, does that mean I can absolutely just completely lose it? I have to throw it up there. There's no other choice. So if I can jump this way... It's the only option I could think of. I'll never be able to make it to the other one. Mmm. Damn, this is hard. Even, even try to use the shadow because it's like... You have to do a diagonal jump. If you at all go in, and using the D-pad is not, is actually not suited. Actually, I think I figured out an easier way to do it. You gotta hang off the side a little bit and just go straight. Yep. All right. Okay. So if I do it this way. Hmm. Okay, why do you go so far? It goes so far. I keep ending up in the sand. I hear him. There we go. All right, I got it now. I I had to learn a bit of that platforming. Okay, next one. Huh. There's something going on here, all right. Yes. There's two spikes up here and two barrels down here, unless... Whoop! Oh! Okay, hold on a second here. What? Well, maybe I ran out. Okay, what's this first one? Two barrels. Why do you give a recovery if I can't get it? What's going on? My assumption is... Because watch, once I go here... You see? How come the recoveries disappear so fast? I'm going to die at this rate. Okay. I might my, my thinking is that I have to catch a barrel, but that's deadly if I don't catch it. No recovery. Why can't I get the recovery? Where does it disappear to? Does it always know where I'm trying to go? Oh, yeah, that time it would have been. You see? So far, every time I've tried it... So far, every time I try it, it's like it knows where I'm trying to head to. All right, let's see if there's a pattern here. First one. Barrel's up there. Second one. Barrel's still up there. Third one. Barrel's still up there. Fourth one. Barrel's still up there. Fifth one. Barrel's still up there. Sixth one. All spikes. Let's try and repeat that now. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. 
five, five, six. Indeed, the sixth one is when it's all spikes. Okay. You see, every time I try and go to a spot, Alright, I got one right now. What does that mean? What do I do with it now? What do I do with it? I actually don't know. Hmm. That's a good question. What do I do with it? Destroys it pretty much. Okay, so damn. Okay, I can get one, two, three, four. That's all spikes, so... Can I get recoveries out of you guys? Can I even break you? Hmm, actually... Oh, that makes sense, actually. We don't even need that many. I don't know why I grabbed that many to begin with. What you can do, perhaps, is... Okay, I see now. Oh, ho. They make me look hard. <coughs> I was like, I gotta look all really hard for these ones. Nope, they're just here. All right, fine then. That one was easier. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, what? I need recoveries. B, bees. Why bees? What happened? Why did they break anyway down there? Man, they're being stingy on recovery. Oh, unlimited bees. Forget it. Oh, what happened? Circle. Star. Moon. Why? You broke. Look, watch this. Okay. I actually didn't mean to hit it. Okay, I can touch you. I can do that. What? It's because I touched the floor? Something's weird about this one. It's as though if I... Am I timed afterwards or something? I wonder. I'm timed. That's what's going on. So just don't hesitate. Oh, the last one broke. Okay, try again. You just can't hesitate. You have to right away go for them. There we go. Let's see now. What'd I get? A key. 
I assume because the door up here is locked. There we go, finally a recovery. After they've been stingy this entire time. I know it's not going to be unlimited bees. I'm hoping that maybe one of them has. Or do I have to... Is this one... I was told that I have, like, some rooms have, like... Or at least one room has, like, you have to defeat 50 enemies. Uh-huh. All right. So now we're going to do this. Head to you. You're the fourth one. Behold what the master in the keep speaks. Wait, did he say riddle? May the gods make your past tree and your load light. Okay, whatever. All right, that's it for here, really. I guess I just gotta head backwards without dying this time. <laughs> guess I gotta head back up here. I am for sure gonna save, though. If I just trapped him like this, though, I'm good. There we go. Hey, I'm making progress. What do you know? This could be a shortcut up now. I hate all these guys. There's so many of them. There we go. Three of them in one shot. Just what I wanted. Ooh. Get away from me. Stay there. Stay there. There we go. So, now that I've solved all these riddles, pretty much, I thought I was going to be able to walk down there. Come on, into the bomb. Oh yeah, of course he's at the bottom of the stairs. Nice. Just got him. I think it's important to save to begin with anyway, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm scared. I don't care if I close them. I've already solved the puzzle again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My only thought is I gotta go and uh, speak to the skeleton man, but I don't want to do anything before doing this. Not losing that progress. Absolutely not losing any progress on this right now. Alright. Man, it takes forever for that to happen. Cool. Alright then. Now, what I'm gonna presume I have to do is talk to this dude again. Hey dude, I solved everything. Release her. Follow the path of true righteousness and you shall not be left wanting. Boom. Haha. <laughs> He exploded and I dropped down, probably to a boss. Oh, God. Well, I have bombs I can use for this one. Hmm. Heard something. Ugh. It's hard to aim it. That's probably gonna hit that one. It's hard to aim it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. I hear what it's doing. I better not. Okay, good. You can't knock it back. Oh. Okay, it's below though, so it can't really hurt you if you throw it. There we go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is not simple. I locked. Oh, you son of a... Just hope some of them explode. No, these guys are hard to explode, I find. Ugh. These guys... Oh, he... Damn, I forgot he was there. Get away! I just want to kill you. Is that really too bad? Yeah. So it was still simple. It wasn't really much of a puzzle. It was just kill everything. Kill everything in sight. I always jump in the sand because I feel like it helps me go faster.
Oh, great. Now what? You better not time me on this one, dude. I would hate to be timed on it. I'm gonna destroy all these guys first, unless I have to do it with them around. Oh, wait, no, I see what's going on. They're changing, that's why they're flashing. So it's not a simple matter of, like, putting them on now. It's a simple matter of the fact that they keep changing. I gotta time this damn thing. If I hit it wrong, it's probably gonna explode everything, right? You see? Okay, hold on. They're all the moon now. How does I do this? Oh, god damn it. That's gonna be a nuisance. But these guys running around having to kill them each time. So now I gotta get this timing down. Alright, you have to shoot it kind of like before. So... I'm, there we go. So you are that one. It comes after Moon. Which is... Star Moon. No! And if I mess up one, I have to redo everything. Why is it going down? I mean, seriously, and I'm losing a lot of energy here. Because these guys kill. And don't really give me recoveries. There we go. There's definitely a timing I have to do here. Hold on a second. There's a star, so... Teardrop, I'll call it. There we go. It's like a split second before it changes. This one's moon, so it goes star, uh, circle. There we go. There's like a split second before it changes. This one's teardrop, I'll call it, so... Star, moon. Star, moon, teardrops. There we go. One more. This one's circle. So it goes moon, teardrop, circle. Moon, teardrop, circle. Oh, too soon. And once again, it's this whole... If I didn't have to keep killing these guys, it'd be a lot better. Like, I kind of figured it out, but then you have to, like, get the timing down for every single one of them. Alright. Teardrop circle start. It's a very odd timing. S star, moon. Circle, star, moon. You got very little leeway to do it. You have to get it right on the first try. So this is teardrop. Stars, moon, circle. It's like right when it changes or something. Okay, so this circle. Circle's there. So it goes teardrop, circle. Okay, wait. It's moon, teardrop, circle. Oh, just... Ah, God damn it. I, I choked. I knew I choked. Give me a recovery, dude. You take away so much damage. Of course not. Okay. Chair drop circle star. It's just as it's changing, I think.
something. I don't know. I don't really know. I kind of got it, but I don't explain it. Circle star moon. Circle star moon. It's like it's it, it's a weird portion. Star moon, star and then moon. See, I can get it. Okay. Moon, teardrop, circle. So on moon. Moon is the key. There we go. Done. Hate that one. Ah ha ha, more spikes. Come on. Eh. There we go. And yet no recovery. You're not very nice, you know. Now what are you telling me? There's a sign there. Ah, oh, it's gold. What are you telling me here? Ooh, it's just one thing. The great sun's gaze is held fast by his shimmering reflection on the water. <sighs> Turning away with regret, he casts a glance upward at the starry sky where Brother Moon resides. That's ba Okay, look. The sun's gaze is held fast, which I guess is the circular one. By his shimmery reflection on the water, which I guess is a water drop, turning away with regret, he casts a glance upward to the starry sky where the brother moon resides. So the star and the moon. Is this an order? First it's sun, water, star, moon. Sun, water, star, moon, right? Sun, water, star, moon. Okay. Sun, water, star, moon. Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. How does that help me here? There's spikes everywhere. Sun, water, star, moon. Sun, water, star, moon. I'm assuming that's just the order. And yet, I see nothing here. I mean, if I step in here... I don't get anything. Hmm. I don't really have anything I can do in here. Not from first look. That's already solved. That doesn't even really matter. I just bring these jerks back. Heh, <laughs> what an idiot. Hey you, give me recovery. And <laughs> now you're gonna blow him up. There we go. Oh look, there's recovery. Nice. Oh god! Get out! Get out! Note to self. There is that doesn't lead to the wall. So I think I understand the puzzle. But I have an issue with the fact that I just don't know where I'm going from, from here. I feel like I see something down here. But I can't get to it. I feel like I see something. Yeah, I see there's a bomb thing. I can bomb down there. I mean, in the sense that... That's not going to be help if I, helpful if I land down there. It'd be great, but I just don't know... If I stand here... Let's just wait a little bit. Maybe? Apparently not. I thought maybe if I waited, something would happen. Let's bomb it. No, it won't work. Can't even stack bombs on top of each other. You die! Can I even reach him? Yes, you can. Only when he comes really close, though. It's a very hard timing on this one. I want him dead. 
Oh my god. I can't get him now. There we go. God damn it, he blocked it. Okay, you have to like press it before while you jump. I see what happens if I kill him. Takes a while though. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. What happens is the sun and then the water where you look up into the starry sky where the moon lies. Right? Or is it because it's not on? I mean, it's technically on. Now what? I have them. You put the sun. That's the sun, right? That's the sun, I presume. Am I supposed to stack them on top of each other or something? The sun. And then you go in the water. Where you look into the starry sky. And then where the moon is resides. Oh my god, if I do that, I'm going to just toss it to the spice, which means I'd have to redo it. That didn't work. What was I expected to work? I mean, I got them, so it's not like I... Unless I throw it into spikes, I can't really do much. It's because I didn't have them all on? Go read this again. I'm pretty sure if it's telling me an order. The sun's great gaze is held fast by his shimmering reflection on the water. Turning away with regret, he casts a glance upward at the starry sky where Brother Moon resides. That sounds like an order I'm supposed to do, and I think this is supposed to be a sun. Just like. Are this all supposed to be on top of it in an order? I mean, that's on top. Hmm. Starry sky. Where Brother Moon resides. But it's like... I'm trying to fit it all on here. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Am I just supposed to fit them all on? I don't even know if that's all on. It's hard to tell. I mean, I think they're all on, but maybe they're not. I think the star is a bit off. Not that it really matters. Ooh! Quite off. But if I had to do an order in a very, like, specific way, then this is just gonna be hell. <sighs> Stop doing that. I keep putting on top of it. Well, I see I'm not understanding this. Hmm. Huh. Well, I can't fit them all on top, so what if I have to, like, take it on and then take it off? Put you in the. I think you're water. I don't really know, even. Starry sky. Where Brother Moon resides. Nothing. There's a riddle in here, for sure. And... I'm trying to take... I'm interpreting it as an order that I'm supposed to put it on, but that could be wrong. 
Great Sun's gaze is held fast by his sheer reflection on the water. Turning away with regret, he casts a glance upward at the starry sky where Brother Moon resides. I mean... I can interpret this many different ways. I mean, the water reflects the sun, and then in the starry sky, it's where the moon resides. You would think as long as all four are on top, that would work, but apparently that's not how it is. Actually, I wouldn't even think... I, I really have no idea. I really have no idea. Uh -huh. What's happening here? I mean, the water can't be on top of the sun, can it? Let's get more centered. Try to interpret this every single way with every single possible outcome. Come on! I'm gonna bomb you! Nothing's working. You think it'd be as simple as just try and get them all on in, in the order, and I keep pressing that because it's the, one of the trigger buttons. Okay, look. The sun goes on top. I don't like the way it is. Like, is there a specific corner I should put it on? Try to see how I can fit all four on top without stacking them. Nope. I don't even think that's on. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's really not much I can do. They have to go on top somehow. Turning away with regret, he casts a glance upward at the starry sky where Brother Moon resides. I mean, that hint doesn't tell me much. It's like, it sounds way too cryptic. In fact, I'm only given this really small space to work with anyway. So, unless it's supposed to be an order, or it's telling me a much more cryptic order that I don't know, or it's telling me how to stack them or something, then it's like, I no matter how much I try to read this and interpret it, I mean, what, I can interpret it as this way, you have to have the this water and the star on the bottom. And then on top of the star is the moon. Not literally. What you have to do is like... Okay, hold on. Try to wonder here how I can tell if it's on top properly. Not literally on top though. Not literally. Oh wait, no, I reversed the star and the, the star and the moon are reversed. Well, that's not true necessarily. I'm just coming up with a stupid way to solve this riddle. Try to think, is it on? It's on. They're all on. This one, I just, just don't know. Is it the order? Is it, is it like, I tried to put them all on top of each other. It, it's gotta recognize it somehow. Look, it starts with the sun. 
The riddle says that the sun is first. Then it goes water. Then it goes starry sky. And then it goes moon. How, how else can I do it? On such a small space with no indication. Oh my god. If I shoot that to the spikes, I gotta kill all those guys again. I mean, look at this thing. And then what? I go on top? Hello, mother! I'm on top of the world! I really don't... I don't understand this one at all. This is cryptic. Held fast by his shimmer reflection on the water. I mean... By his shimmer reflection on the water. I'm assuming that most of the text doesn't mean anything. It's just there to break apart the uh, different um, stones, really. I mean, the great sun's gaze is held fast on his shimmering reflection on the water. This line, no matter what I think of, basically, he's looking in the water, he sees the reflection, and the sun's there. Next up. Turning away with regret, he cast a glance upward at the starry sky where Brother Moon resides. So it basically turns around and suddenly there's a starry sky where you can find the moon. That's basically what it means. How it relates to this, I've got no clue right now. I think out of all of them, this is the one I would have to look up. I just can't think at all. I've tried so many different variations of it. And this door won't budge until I figure this out. Was I supposed to throw it in the order they fell? Was I supposed to, like... Like, if they were in specific corners, was I supposed to throw them in that one? Does it matter how I throw them? Like, is there a pattern to this? Like, is it telling me what order to throw them there? How do I know when they've all made a connection onto it? Like, look, here's the sun. It still makes the same sound when it lands on top of it. The space is so small... See, that one didn't make a sound, which is kind of weird. I assume it didn't make a sound because I don't know, actually. And there's no indication if I'm getting it even close to right. I can only get it... I mean, look, the sun, if I go on top here... Oof, that would be close. There's no indication I'm on the right track either. I mean, I can have I figured out most of the I figured out all the riddles up to this point, and this one I just can't do. It seems I've tried every single very. I bet you it's just something. There's just something here I can't think of, and unfortunately, this is where I have to look up an answer because I am just thinking and thinking and thinking, and I don't know what it means at all. So I'm going to apologize for doing this, but I just don't know what I'm doing. I have interpreted this one wrong, apparently. It's... I kind of got it right. You throw the sun... You throw the water... on top. I had the right idea. What I did wrong was I was supposed to shoot the moon on top and then the star on top. At least that's how it apparently was supposed to be. Oof. Hold on a second here. I mean, that's what I read. That's what I read. You have to do it this way. No, you shoot this. You put the water. No, you shoot the water. Then you shoot this one. 
I had a good idea. I just don't didn't know the order. Well, I probably could have figured it out if I had thought long enough. Maybe. I don't know. The, 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 the riddle was weird. This was cryptic. That was cryptic. Or I just suck, but I mean, I was trying to read it every which way I could. And I thought I sort of had an idea. I was on the right track, I just got the order wrong. Alright. Hey, look, a mummy. I'm at the boss, I think, so... I might need some of these guys. Alright. Good. Now that I've done that, we're going to get the bomb out. Okay. Now i got to figure out how to awaken this guy. That door is locked. Hmm. Oh, I can jump down. Oh, it's another... Oh, I hate these ones so much. This better not be timed. Oh, God. Oh, teardrop circle. Uh, wow. Hey, wait a minute. Hold up a second here. I also know something in the middle. I have to start with this one, perhaps? Is that it? No. Well, I'm about to finish this part, though. I have, don't have time to record anymore, really. What is this about? North, south, east, west. Hold on, what's the other side do? Let me check the other side quickly. Cause I am running out of time for recording. Oh, it's just like the same thing. There's like a thing back here. Oh, oh, how did I miss that? Uh huh. Uh huh. There's a thing up there that tells you the order, pretty much. Duh. How did I not see that? It's so obvious. I had it. Maybe I'm supposed to go north. Um, I mean, star goes first, moon goes second. It's just a matter of. I have to start north for sure. And then what with the moon? This way? Apparently that's how you do it. All right, so Nexus, you going this way? Uh huh. Oh, apparently not. I guess I gotta go west next because I hit the right one. I definitely hit the right one, so it means that It means that I have to go west next, I guess. Eh. I'm gonna assume. It's also going faster, I think. Hey, that's why it's harder to do. Yep. Indeed, that is the order. I guess that's why it's pointing up. Okay, the sun is after... The moon, basically, is my key. Oh, wow! Did I really do that? Well, I figured it out, so I think I'm just gonna have to end the part here. Because... Uh... Oh, don't wanna walk down there. Because I'm not really in a place to record more right now. 
So I hope I can get back to the save. I really do. Imagine if I can't. I, mean, I solved everything up to this point and I know what to do now. It's just a matter of, you know, actually doing it. So I'm, I mean, oh man, these damn riddles in this place. Apparently Slowpoke, you hate this place. And I guess I can see it. Good. All right, good. It's not even that far to get to, so this is where I ended. I was kind of afraid I'd have to continue on a bit more, but man, this place is taking forever. Uh, sorry for looking that one up, but apparently I'm not good at reading riddles. But uh, truthfully, I never said I was because the Riddler stuff in Arkham Asylum really got to me. I could not understand half of those riddles. Uh, riddles just aren't my thing, so... I, I had an idea of what to do, so at least I knew where I was going. I just couldn't do it 100%, but I think, you know, at least give me credit for kind of understanding it, even if I did in the wrong order. Anyways, next time, we're going to get those things done, even though I know what to do. It's just hard to execute it, and we'll fight the boss, and we'll finally get out of here. So long.